Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Work and welcome to my channel and today my findings on playing the Destiny Alpha. I don't really need to play anymore. I've played numerous co-op missions and I've also played numerous team death matches against opponents of varying levels and these are my findings. With this, and there's only two. There's only two. First of all, the game itself. It's a beautiful looking game. I had as much enjoyment actually exploring the environment as much as I did going into combat with these opponents, um, AI and also um, my human counterparts. But there's one thing in the game that niggles me and it is simply this. It is the freaking frog mode, man. You know, in the um, co-op missions, I didn't really notice it that much because I was just too into the game but then when you basically meet up with your human counterparts by playing team death matches everybody's freaking jumping up and down like freaking crisscross for those who are too young enough to know who crisscross are just google them but they're all freaking jumping up and down like two stories up in the air by the time you freaking aim or even try to blind fire these mofos they're up in the air when you look up they're gone and that's the same experience I had when I started playing Crisis 3 and also Dust 514. Two games that I really was interested in playing, but then got turned off automatically when I saw that tactic being used and it was used widespread throughout those two games. So for me, Bungie, is either you lose the frog mode or you tone it down to player height. Bring it down to a level where I can actually see the player I can see the player in my screen because by the looks of things it's like there is some invisibility modes in certain characters but if you don't it's gonna suffer the same fate as Crisis 3 and Dust 514 trust me thank you